So you ran a giveaway on your Instagram page and now it's time to pick a winner. So if you're thinking, uh, how do I do that? Then this video is for you because I'm going to walk you through exactly how to easily and simply pick a winner for your Instagram giveaway. Now for some giveaways, picking a giveaway winner is very easy, especially if you don't have that many entries. But what happens if you have hundreds, if not thousands of entries? You're not gonna count every single one of those by hand. You need a system or some sort of software that will do it for you. So in today's video, I am gonna break down a variety of ways that you can pick winners for your Instagram giveaways. I'm gonna have very easy options for very simple giveaways, but if you have giveaways where people have had to share to their story and there were a whole variety of other ways that they could enter, then I'm going to provide some other options that will make it possible for you to do that. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to make this video for you is because I did a video all about how to run an Instagram giveaway. I talk about all the steps, all the things you need to do to make sure that you're doing a great giveaway that is legal and is following all the rules to make sure that you do everything correctly. Now, in that video, I mentioned that you need to pick a winner. And I didn't go into specifics at the time of what my favorite tool or software is because I really didn't have a favorite one and the ones that were there really weren't that great. So I wanted to wait until I had more time to really research the different options. Plus, so many of you have watched that video and commented and sent me messages saying, hey, great video, but how do I pick a winner? So I thought now would be a perfect time to do that. Now, like I mentioned in that other video, if you are doing a giveaway compared to a contest, you need to pick a winner based on chance. There needs to be a random winner selected. So you're not just going to pick your friends. You're not gonna pick the first comment that's there. You really do need to fairly pick a winner and you need to be very transparent with that. So these methods that I'm about to talk about really do cover all of those bases, but that way you are picking a winner totally by chance. There's no nepotism. You're not picking your friends because let's be honest, we've all seen giveaways where they do do that and while they won't actually admit to it you and I know we both know what's happening and that is so unfair and you do not want this to happen for your page or your brand that because of the giveaway that you did people have a negative perception about you because how the giveaway turned out so without further ado let's jump into my favorite ways to pick a winner for your Instagram giveaway so there are a ton of websites and apps out there that will help you pick your winners for your Instagram giveaways problem is all the good ones with all the functions that you need are paid so I spent a ton of time researching and diving into all of the different options so that way you could have the best free Instagram giveaway winner picker. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Instagram giveaway winner picker, Instagram giveaway winner picker, Instagram giveaway winner picker, Instagram giveaway winner But the average person who's running a giveaway probably isn't going to be running a ton of these. And so it really isn't worth the cost. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the free ways that you can pick a winner for your Instagram giveaway. And I'll also mention some of these other paid options in case you want to be doing a lot more giveaways in your future. So like I mentioned in that video before, there are a lot of different ways to run a giveaway and a lot of different ways that people can enter. The classic is to have people follow, like, and leave a comment on your account. And then usually that comment can be tagging a friend or tagging three friends. It gets really complicated when you start enabling people to share the giveaway to their stories. So we'll talk about that, but let's just talk about your classic giveaway where you are going to be picking a winner from the comments. So let's say they tag X number of friends or they just had to leave a comment. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So here's a giveaway that I did on one of my accounts and all they had to do was leave us a review on iTunes and then they needed to comment back on the post letting us know that they had done that. So you can see we had a handful of entries on this. And so what I'm going to do is I am just going to randomly pick a winner from the comments. So the simplest way to pick a winner for your Instagram giveaway is to use a random number generator. You can find a random number generator by just using Google, type in random number generator, and Google has one here for you. It's very simple and easy to use. All you have to do is put the number of entries that you have. So let's say we had 80 entries. So you put minimum one, max zero, and then hit generate. From there, it's randomly gonna pick a number for you and that number corresponds to the entry. Now this works for giveaways that don't have very many entries where you can just count those by hand, but nonetheless, that still is cumbersome and takes a lot of time. My number one favorite tool for picking a winner for your Instagram giveaway is commentpicker.com. This website actually has a ton of different tools, but 
but I like to go to Instagram tools and then go to Instagram random comment picker business. Now, the reason it says business is because you have to have a creator Instagram account or a business Instagram account because it uses the Instagram API to link back to your data. Now, if you are an influencer or a business, I highly recommend that you upgrade your account to a creator or a business account, or even if just you're using it for your own personal brand. The reason is the Instagram business and creators account give you a lot more functionality and analytics, which make using Instagram easier. So unfortunately you have to have one of those accounts, which is linked to a Facebook account in order to use this. So if you don't have this, I will show you some other options. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to click this login with Facebook. If you have an Instagram business or creator account, you already have it connected to a Facebook page. And so here you just have to approve everything. All right, so here you go. It's going to populate all of your posts down here, but before you do that, you want to check some things. So the first one is the minimum amount of at mentions. Now for giveaways where people had to tag a friend, this is where this minimum amount of at mentions comes in. Now this is really important because a lot of times for a lot of giveaways, people just tag their friends in different comments. What this is specifically talking about, you can see it goes from zero to 10. This is the number of people tagged in one comment. So if I put this as three, then people had to have commented at least three tags in one comment for them to even be eligible. I didn't run my giveaway that way. And I feel like a lot of people actually don't, even though they may have had to have tagged three friends in the comments, this isn't going to pull all of those because they were tagged as separate comments. So for that reason, you want to put it as one. Now, another thing is you may want to even put this as zero because some giveaways in the rules, you have to leave a comment and then additional entries are tags. So you don't want the people who left a comment, but didn't tag to be out. So in this giveaway example, they only got an entry if they tagged a friend. So if they just left a comment that will not count as an entry. So I'm going to change this to one. Now, the next thing is include comment replies. So people can respond to other people's comments. If you want those to be eligible, then you can click that. Now the next one is filter duplicate users. So in the cases where people are having to tag multiple friends to get multiple entries, you definitely don't want to click this, but if you only want one person eligible, no matter how many times they comment, then you'll definitely want to click this. And then the last one is filter comments based on a specific text. It, for some giveaway, some people have to leave a comment using the giveaway hashtag. So if that's the case, you would click that and then you would type whatever the giveaway hashtag is here. And it will only pull comments that have that hashtag. So my giveaway didn't have that. So I'm going to leave these three empty. So now what you do is it's going to pull in all of your different posts. So I'm going to scroll down to one that I know has a couple hundred entries and it's right here. So you click on that and then it's going to populate the total amount of entries. In this case, it was 206. Now you're going to want to go here and it says start raffle and pick random winner. So click the button and it's going to shuffle, 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 shuffle. And then finally it's going to pick a winner. So right here, this is my winner. And the really cool thing about commentpicker.com is that you can actually save the result and create a unique URL. So that way anyone can go in to verify that the winner was actually selected by this tool versus picking your friend. So commentpicker.com is pretty simple and easy, but it only works for very simple giveaways. Now, what if you had people where they had to tag at least three friends, or if they had to share to their story to get extra entries? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So unfortunately there is not an easy way to track entries that are done by stories. You are simply going to have to track those by hand. So in order to do that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to export all of the comments into a spreadsheet, and then you're manually going to have to add those as they come in. So that's why a lot of times in those giveaways, people will say, make sure to tag us in your story. And then they're just going to note down the user's name when they do that. So I'm going to show you that really quickly. There is a tool that I use to make this really simple. So you go to getcombot.com. Now it's going to default in Russian. So you can change the language up here to English. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to put in an email address and then you're going to have to find the link to the Instagram post. So let's go back to our post to find that you need to find the URL of your website. So you go to Instagram.com slash whatever your name is, you find the post and click on it. And if you're on a website, you can just go ahead and copy that link right at the top. If you're on mobile and using the Instagram app, the way you do that is a little different. So you click on your post, then you click the three dots at the top and then you click get link. And that link is automatically going to be copied. And then you paste that where you need to go. 
yourself. So you copy and paste the link right there, click I am not a robot, and then send. Now, the problem with this tool is that it does take a long time. It may take anywhere from a few minutes to a half hour to get your result, so just be aware of that. But the reason I like this is because it's free. A lot of the other comment exporters, they have a limit of maybe 100 comments or 200 comments, and then you have to pay. So this one I've tested with 50 entries, 200 entries, and I've even done one with 12,000 entries, and it works great. But you just have to wait longer in order to get the results. Now, once you do that, it's going to give you a link where you can track your progress. So you click that and then it's going to be in Russian. So I just click right click and do translate to English. And then it's going to let you know how, about how long it's going to take. So for example, this is that post that has 12,000 comments from a company called coconut cleaning. I know that they have a lot of entries on their giveaway. So that's why I tested this one. And it says the standby time is around 44 minutes. So just note that the more entries you have, the longer it's going to take for this tool to work. But let's go to one of my other ones that I tested. So once you're done, it's going to give you something like this. And you just click this link right here. It's going to take you to the post that has all of the entries. And the reason I like this is because it actually has the number generator right here built in. So this had 212 entries and now it's going to randomly generate a number from one through 212. So I can click the button to generate a number and then I can scroll all the way down 165. So that would be this person right here. And you can see here is their name. And then here was the comment that they left. And when was the time for that? Or there actually is a button that will just pick the winner directly, because if you have thousands of entries, you don't want to scroll forever. So there will be a button that says just pick winner. Then I would go and double check that that person followed all of the requirements. I would rather pick a winner and then double check that they followed all the rules. For example, they're following my account. They liked the post rather than doing that for every single entry and exclude people that way. That's just way, way too complicated and way too much time. So then I would go back to my post. I would look at this person to see if they're following me. Then I would go back to the original post to see if they did like the post. And then if I had any other requirements, I would do that as well. Now let's say that this giveaway, they could also share to their stories. What you're going to want to do is you're going to use this as your foundation and you're going to download the results to Excel. So here is what that looks like. Here are all of the entries for this post. There were 212 entries. And then, like I said before, you're going to have to be manually tracking all of the shares to stories. So if people share to their story and their tag you, you're just going to have to put username, you know, username to whatever their usernames are, and then add that to your list. And then you're going to want to go and use a random number generator to now run this entire list. So obviously it's a little bit more complicated if you are using the share to stories. And a lot of people actually do this where if they share to stories, you get, you know, five entries. So you're just going to have to write that down on five separate lines because it's five separate entries. So again, I really like this site because not only does it give you the ability to run all of the comments, whether you have a little bit or a lot and you can do it for free, but it also allows you to pick a winner directly in there. And then you can export it to a spreadsheet where then you can use that to manually track even more entries that come in and then just use a random number generator from there. Now, of course, there are other tools like Woobox and Gleam.io and Iconosquare and so many other tools for picking winners on Instagram. However, those are paid. And so I'll just include links down below. They have a lot more functionality, but even then I haven't really been able to find any that will track the story share. So for that reason, I think the getcombot.com is your best solution because it really does everything you need all in one place. Now, one other thing that I want to say is when you are picking a winner, I would recommend recording your screen as you're doing the random number generator and picking the winner just gives a little bit more transparency into the giveaway that you're running. So that way people know, Hey, you weren't just picking your friends. All right, guys, I hope you now know all the steps that you need to do to fairly pick a winner for your Instagram giveaway. You have a variety of methods to choose from. So let me know down below, which one was your favorite. If you found this helpful, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to join the tribe where I talk about social media and video marketing tips every single week on my channel. That's all I have for today. And I'll see you next time.